the idea of me being a hero, looking back on my life, I, I would plead not guilty. <laughs> You helping Papa cut the tree down? Yes, Boy. Two years ago, my grandfather told me he wasn't sure what he was living for. He said that since my grandmother died in 2009, he felt like a nobody. Without her, he wasn't sure who he was. Wait a minute. Papa's pooping. <laughs> <laughs> when he was my age, he was drafted into the military, and then after completing basic training, he was stationed in Germany from 1959 to 1961. I'm currently living there, and for the first time since he served, he's returning to Germany to visit me. I told him I would be making a documentary about his time in the military, but honestly, I just want to show who he really is. If I were to title this short film, Hero, how would you feel about that? Not good. <laughs> no, not good at all. <laughs> Hi, Papa. Oh my gosh! Love you. Love you too. I'm happy that you're here. On the train from the airport, he started telling me stories that he'd never told me before. He said that a wild hog had snuck into their base camp in a forest once and set off all the traps. When I asked what had jogged his memory, he just said that looking at the trees, it reminded him of that time. I'm pretty sure that the forest was the only thing he recognized about Germany. Yeah, that, that is something. Again, just think about how they constructed those things way back a hundred years ago. The intricacies of it, you know? Those spires. Fantastic. I wondered whether or not he thought it was previously impossible that something so old could still have so much to offer. As we walked away, he started crying and said he had no idea why, but I think I do. And they're still, still working on it. The way he sees that cathedral is how I see him. Did not think I'd be ever back up, but I am. 65 years to the month. It's a whole different atmosphere now. This used to be cobblestone. I decided to take him back to the Frankfurt stockade. During his time in the service, he served three months there as a prison chaser. He stood guard over fellow U.S. soldiers who had been convicted of crimes such as AWOL all the way up to murder. One of the entrances that we used, it seems like it boarded up now. How would I describe this facility in my life, in my terms? Nasty. Yes, nasty. And you walk the same path that they did. And um, basically did everything they did, except that they were in a cell uh, and locked up. And, and then I was able to roam and communicate as best I could with them. It, it was... Uh, very traumatizing situation. The more he spoke about his time there, the more I got the idea that he felt there were no walls inside the prison, dividing prisoner from guard. Through my lifetime, I've done good things and, and I've messed up so that I'm not all a good person. I can't believe that you're 86 and you have the... 87. You're 80? No, you're not. 87, going to be 88 in January. Are you serious? Oh, let me check my driver's <laughs> license. <laughs> I can't believe that you're 87. With two months to go to be 88. With two months to go to be 88. And you believe that you might not be a good person. I also don't know if you're fully aware that you saved someone's life. 
just a typical night on duty, such as it was, and out of nowhere, this person appeared. I was uh, working in the tower. One guy, prisoner, who was in for murder, he said, he, he yelled at me, Elmer, yeah. What are you doing out there? You know, to he said, I'm going. You're going where? He said, I'm getting out of here. And he says, I'm going. He says, I can't take this anymore. And he proceeded to attempt to climb the wall to get out of the facility. And I pointed the weapon at him. And I told him, I said, don't. Please don't. And he backed down went back in. I really don't know if I had the balls to pull the trigger. With that being said, I don't know that I saved, in this case, his life, or he did. Death is not something that I... Uh, think about, and I, I have to say that I'm, uh, I think everybody is afraid, such as it is, of dying. I could probably say that at my age and my lifetime, uh, if it comes and when it comes, I, I'm ready. I'll accept it. There are, there's one thing, <clears throat> excuse me, that uh, I would like to do before I die. Uh, the last most thing is being here when you, excuse me, when you graduate. To s what it means to see you graduate is that. I've completed everything I wanted. Did Grandma ever talk about watching us graduate? <laughs> I love you guys. Yes, Grandma and I discussed it. She would be very happy, as I am. If she's here, it was here. I went on to tell him all the ways I thought he was a hero and the things he's done that changed my life, but nothing can really prepare you for a conversation like that with a grandparent. I don't think he'll ever fully accept that he is a hero, but at least I got a little bit closer. I don't think I'll ever feel like I've completed the project or done the best I could. I've always think that there's something more I could have done, should have done, and could do. So let's say I don't, I don't name the film Hero. Good. <laughs> Thank you.